Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make butternut squash soup. This butternut squash soup is smooth and creamy and total comfort food. Start by heating a large pot on the stove over medium-high heat. Get three tablespoons of butter melting in the pot. Once the butter's all melted, we're gonna add in one white diced onion. Saute the onion in the butter until they're soft, about five minutes. Once your onions are soft, it'll be time to add in the butternut squash. You'll want to take one medium-sized butternut squash, peel it, slice off the ends, and then slice it in half down the middle. This will expose all of the seeds, and then you just take a spoon and scrape them out and toss that, of course. Then you'll dice it up into little half inch to one inch pieces. It should provide about two cups worth of little butternut squash chunks. Dump those in with the onions, along with three ribs of sliced celery, three medium-sized sliced carrots, and one diced apple. The apple is a little bit of an unusual ingredient, but it adds this sweetness to the butternut squash soup without adding any extra sugar, and it's amazing. Next, we'll add in four cups of vegetable broth. Get that all in there, and it should be enough to cover the vegetables. Looks like these need just a little stir. Then you'll also need one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Bring this to a simmer. Once it comes to a simmer, reduce the heat to medium low and let it simmer for 15 to 20 minutes until all of the vegetables inside are tender. And then it'll be time to smooth things up. Use an immersion blender like this to puree the soup, or you can transfer it all to a regular blender and puree it there as well. If you're using a regular blender, just make sure that you vent the top and do it in batches so that you don't have pressure build up in your blender and have it explode all over your kitchen. That would be terrible. Once it's all smooth, pour in one cup of heavy cream and give it a stir. Add more salt to taste and you are ready to eat. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description. Be sure to subscribe and check out the rest of my channel where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. See you later.